بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم سو دارس هو اريو اي هو اول اوف يو ار فاين اند يو ار واتشينج ماي يوتيوب شانل لينغوستكس ويز داس هادي اند ان ذس فيديو اي ام غوين تو ديل ويز ذا كومبوننتس اوف مينيمالست بروجرام اس يو نو ذات ان ذا بريفيس فيديو اي هاف تولد يو ذات ذا انتروداكتوري سيريز انتروداكشن اوف ذا مينيمالست بروجرام وات ايز مينيمالست بروجرام نو وات اف ذا faculty of language and how we can account for language in the framework of minimalist program in the next lecture i am going to deal with the components of minimalist program when we talk about minimalist program we can say that minimalist program is basically a program on that program we can account for language faculty if we want to check any language we have a framework the framework is a minimalist program according to noam chomsky and if we say minimalist program it has some parts it has some component it has some segments and the segments of the minimalist program perform different role within the program within the framework and in this video i am going to tell you that what are the components of minimalist program let's see and i want to request you that i love you if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updates about minimalist program and let's see you toward the components of minimalist program see first of all components of minimalist program there are basically two components of minimalist program when we talk about the faculty of human language we can say that there are the basically two components two things that are important in the human mind and they are the two thing one is the computation system that combines the word and make a meaningful expression the second problem is that if we have the system that combine the items second step is we need items where we can get items for the items for the selection of item for the item we have another parts within the framework that is the lexicon what is the lexicon lexicon basically a room a storehouse a compartment in which we have the items what are the items items are the noun the verb the preposition in simple word you can say that parts of speech and these are the two crucial components of human mind and in the two components when the these two component interacts with each other we can make a meaningful expression that we can say a sentence in any language and if we want to say that a speaker the speaker is the spanish speaker we can say that in the lexicon the speaker has the items of the spanish language and in the computation system he has some principle some general rules on that principle he or she combine the word and then he or she make a sentence these two components are very important if we suppose that we are the punjabi speakers and we can say that we have a two components one is the principle based computational system of human language that combine the items that takes the item from the lexicon and arranges the lexicon in the pair form and construct a expression that is called a sentence and what is the difference between a spanish speaker a punjabi speaker a english speaker a hindi speaker and a italian speaker what is the difference the difference is that every speaker all over the world according to chomsky possessed some inwired organ that is the computational system of human language this is genetically installed in the human mind the second is the lexicon and this is the variant 
dis distinguish one speaker to the other speaker. So we have to focus in the lexicon because it is changeable, it is unchangeable. So we can say that whatever the speaker is, he or she has the two components according to the Noam Chomsky theory of generative grammar. And in the minimalist program, we can say that a speaker faculty of language possess the two things. One is the computation system for human language, the second is the lexicon, and then move toward the properties of the computation system and the lexicon. See, this is the MP minimalist program. It states that the faculty of human language is conceived as a CHL computation system for human language. The second is the lexicon. When these two components interact, we can say that we can generate a sentence. Because the speaker takes the lexical item from le the lexicon and the principles are applied on that like the word and in this way CGL combine the item and in this way we can make a meaningful sentence in any language. And we can say that what is the what is the property of lexicon and what is the property of CHL? As I have already told you that according to Noam Chomsky and according to some linguists that he has postulated on the framework of generative grammar and they claim that CHL is genetically encoded. It means that they suppose that they claim that they posted that every human mind, every individual has an organ that is the part of every individual genetic makeup and this is the CHM and this is the makeup of the human mind when you say that we have the organs like eyes like nails like head like hand like kidney like liver, like stomach, like heart, we can say that this is the organ of human body. It distinguishes people from the animals. It distinguishes human from the animal. It is a specific organ that God has bestowed to every individual, whatever the speaker is, but God has genetically installed one component in the human mind that is called CHL. And this cannot be changed. This is genetically endowed. Mean this is the, the part of genetic makeup of every human. The second is invasion. It means that it can it cannot be modified because it is a part of gene. When you want to change the gene, it is a very tough task. But you cannot change even the framework of the CHL. So it is the part of the human gene. It is invariant. We can't change the CHL. The third is closed. It has the closed system. And we can say that if we say that the V selects the DP, it means that it is the simple operation that is the merge operation. And we can say that CHL only works on pair form. It merges the item. Whatever the item is, if we say the Spanish speaker, if we say the English speaker, and if we say the Hindi speaker, we, the speaker have the lexical item. And the CGL, what is the CGL doing? CGL is only matching the item on a pair base. And this is the closed system, because closed system means it has some specific rule, on specific rule and specific principle, it has to do work. That's, you know, like, what is lexicon? Lexicon is developed in the social experiences. We can say that we have the child. And what is the child doing? The child is observing the environment. And when he or she is observing the environment, he or she takes the linguistic data. Linguistic experiences from the society. And when he or she takes linguistic experiences, the lexicon is filled with that particular linguistics item. When you send to the individual to the English society, the lexicon will be filled with the English item. 
and when you send to the speaker to the hindi society the lexicon will be filled with the hindi atom and when you send to the speaker in the spanish community his lexicon will be filled with the spanish atom it means that it is developed in the social experience it is a variant we can say that it has a variety of words and it is the open open what is the open it has the quality to acquire the language to acquire the linguistics experience linguistics item suppose you say that the bilinguals the lexicon is filled with the multiple items we can say that the speaker has the capacity to store the items of more than one one language you can observe the speakers their speakers speak english language and the speakers also speak the spanish language the speaker also speak the hindi language at the same time they speak many languages we can say that what is the difference the difference is that they has the lexicon in the lexicon the items of that particular language on the schedule is doing only the merging the items that are taken from the lexicon and output gives us the output a meaningful sentence and in this way we can say that there are two crucial components of minimalist program with the generative framework one is the chf computational system for human language the second is the lexicon and when these two components interacts we can say that in the interaction of these two components we can generate a meaningful derivation a meaningful sentence and if you want to know more, know more about language and linguistics and minimalist lecture Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Thank you. Bye.